going to go live now to our Mohammed Al Qasim on assignment for us in Turkey. He is covering the ongoing situation with Syrian refugees flooding into the country, as well as President Erdogan's political treatment of those refugees in light of new reports of serious chemical weapons attacks, even a new report concluding that Bashar al-Assad and his family personally ordered some of these chemical weapons attacks. Mohammed, you're there on the streets. Millions of refugees. This is a political crisis as well as a humanitarian one. How is it being handled there in, on the streets in, in Turkey, especially in light of these new chemical weapons reports? Jeff, Turkey is probably the uh, one country that took in the most uh, Syrian refugees since the eruption of the Syrian conflict about seven years ago. We are in the southeast uh, city of Ghazi Antep here in Turkey. Some 350,000 Syrians live in this area. And we've been walking around since yesterday and talking to many Syrians, as well as many uh, Kurdish uh, citizens, as well as uh, government officials. Let's, you know, let's focus on the Syrians for one second here. They all say that the Turkish government have opened its arms, as well as the, Syri uh, the Kurdish people, to bring, bring them in and provide for them as much as possible. But let's not uh, kid ourselves. Uh, you know, Turkey is still burdened by economic situation, and they are having difficulties even providing and uh, finding and creating jobs for their own, something that may have created a little bit of tension between the Syrians and the Kurds. However, overall, uh, 350,000 Syrians here say that they are able to at least uh, be safe and provide for their families, something that they cannot do uh, back in their homes. Uh, we're talking about 65 kilometers, less than an hour, an hour and a half drive from the Syrian borders. Now, about the other thing, about the other uh, uh, report that came out today from Amnesty International accusing President Bashar al-Assad, as well as his brother, Maher al-Assad, of uh, being behind the uh, not only chemical attacks, but also about uh, up, you know, uh, imposing uh, blockades around certain neighborhoods. We're talking about Alwar neighborhood in the central Syrian city of Hems, also in the eastern part of the uh, capital, Damascus, in eastern Gotha. This is a, a strategy, this is a, a policy that the Syrian government has taken on for some time in trying to exert pressure on the rebels to uh, leave that area and go elsewhere. And by, you know, applying this, uh, this blockade on those neighborhoods, what they're doing is trying to get the population in these, uh, in these neighborhoods to exert pressure on the rebels to leave. And this is the way of the government to uh, take over these neighborhoods and these uh, towns and cities. But this has created really horrific humanitarian uh, crisis where people have not been provided with uh, proper medical attention, nor, uh, nor food or, uh, or fresh water. And that's why Amnesty International has issued this uh, dire warning. Jeff.